Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and if you're not, welcome back. Today we have another crochet with me vlog style, okay? So, for those of you who don't know, I sell stuff on my Etsy and one of my best selling items is these photo cards that I decorate with stickers and stuff. And I came across, if you've watched my projects I want to crochet in 2024, You've already seen this pattern, but I came across this pattern of 12 different, like, photo card frames on Etsy. It's a $12 pattern. Pretty sure it's $12.12 12 or something. I'll put it on the screen, but it's $12.12. .12. It's a hefty priced pattern. So, because of this, um, I've decided to do a pattern review for you guys, because you guys seem to like my pattern reviews. And this one was one I was already planning on making because I would like to sell these crocheted photo card frames along with my photo cards that I'm already selling. So I want to try this pattern out and see if it's like, for one, if it's worth the 12 bucks, if it's beginner friendly, and if it's just good overall. So it looks like the reviews, five star reviews, perfect for beginners, um, 21 reviews, and it's five stars. So I have high hopes for this. I will be doing all 12 and reviewing all 12. So I'm just going to start with number one, which is the basic photo card holder. So let me download the pattern. Let's go over, let's do some first looks at it. Go over the um, supplies and jump into the first one. So I downloaded it. It is 51 pages. It's a hefty download. Pictures are adorable. So far, I like the layout. It looks like we're going to need... Uh-oh. We're gonna need weight three yarn. I don't have a lot of weight three yarn. The stitches are very basic. Four millimeter hook and three weight three yarn. Okay, so this is weight three yarn. I could probably get away with using this, um, but it does say weight three yarn, which the only weight three yarn I have is these like true boo um Bamboo yarn. <laughs> Why am I like blinking? It's the only one. I wanted to use my weight four yarn. I'm just gonna have to figure out like maybe it's not that big of a difference if I switch a yarn weight up because I want to get rid of my weight four yarn and I have more colors than that. So you need weight three, but we're gonna try weight four and see what happens. Yeah, it just says using different yarn weight may result in a different size photo card holder, and you may have to change the number of stitches and rows you'll have. So just have to do that. All right. So let's start with the basic photo card holder. I am going to use weight four yarn and see what happens. So actually I am going to go get one of my um, photo card things and use it as like the sizing thing. Okay, let's start. Okay, so I grabbed a misprint from my shop. I accidentally ended up like laminating a little like piece of fuzz. <laughs> so I won't be selling it. And then I got the um, card protector for like the full dimension as our kind of like dummy dimension slideshow thing you know so this is what i'm going to be using and then this is the color i picked because i accidentally bought this color thinking it was a different pink so now i have nothing to do with it so i'm going to make the basic photo card with this color so i am going to be using a weight four yarn and i'm going to go in with a four millimeter like it says and just kind of see what happens i might need to lower my hook size to make it work but for now, we're going to do a 4mm. Okay, so this was my first attempt at the basic one. Um, okay, a couple things. I did less stitches across because I'm using a heavier weight yarn, so it's getting me, like, farther. So I did less stitches. I could have done even less. There's too much room. Like, this can wiggle around, and I don't like that. So I think I'm going to do another one, and I'm going to do less stitches. Um... Than I did on this one and just see if I don't know I'm just trying to convert the yarn weight over to to weight four and I'm just having a little bit of trouble but I mean it's cute it's just not perfect so I'm gonna try again with a different amount with less Okay, I redid it and it is so much better. Look at the difference. The difference in width. This is the old one. It was way too wide. 
So I redid it and I actually made, okay, so basically I did two less um, stitches width than I did in the other one and I did one less on the side. So overall it still holds like a photo card shape. Um, so far, loving this pattern. Super beginner friendly. Easily adaptable if you're using a different size weight yarn, obviously. Um, so yeah, this is the basic photo card. Definitely beginner friendly. I love this pattern. It has a lot of like, um, pictures and diagrams and stuff to help you. So definitely worth it so far. Let's go ahead and do the second one. Frog photo card. So we're going to do that one. Um, now. <laughs> this is the green that I decided on. And then I got the other colors for like the eyeballs or whatever. But so far it's the same as the basic one. Except for the last row. So I'm just repeating what I already did. Which means it's easy. <laughs> and Jasper <laughs> won't leave me alone. But yeah, so I'm just repeating what I did until the last row. And I'll let you know if it's any more difficult. Okay, so this one took a few tries. I ended up figuring it out. Like, let me show you. I ended up doing the eyeballs. I just took like two tries, but she gives a lot of pictures, so it's a good pattern. I think I'm just like, wasn't seeing it right. The only sucky thing about the frog one is how many ends I'm going to have to weave in. Um, but I did figure the shape out and it does look cute. Another thing I want to note is when you're weaving in your ends, um, I didn't do it on the other one, but I'm going to do it on this one. I'm going to weave them all in before I attach the back because after you attach the back, weaving it in just gets harder. So I think I'm going to weave them all in before I attach the back. And then um, before I do any of that, actually, I'm going to do like the, uh, the little blush, you know, in the mouth and stuff. I actually, okay, so like there's three black pieces and then the little pink pieces. I don't really like the black pieces there. So I think I'm just going to do the blush. Um, and it's less to weave in, but I think I just want to do the blush. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And I actually think I'm going to... She just embroiders it, but I'm going to slip stitch it in. Because I feel like that's just like sturdier. So I'm going to do some slip stitching. And then um, weave all my ends in. And attach it all together. But I'm excited for this one. I like it. It's really cute. Okay, it took forever. But look how cute... And all of my weaved in ends look so clean. It's so cute. Okay, now I get to attach it. It's done! Oh my god, it looks so cute. I love it! It's cute. The eyeballs stick out a little. I love it. Okay, so the frog one was just slightly more difficult. Just just a little and honestly just the eyeballs that's the only different part it's the same pattern as the basic one just with the last row on the front panel adding the eyeballs that part was a little tricky and it could be really tricky if you've never crocheted before but if you have a couple projects under your belt you can do it you can do it um it might take a couple tries like it did for me <laughs> but i think i was just reading it wrong so Definitely like the frog one. This one's really cute. So far, I think this one is my favorite out of the first two that we've done. Um, and now we just have the third one, which I think I'm going to get into it tomorrow. I think I'm going to go to bed for now. But uh, the next one we're going to do is the grizzly bear photo card frame. We're doing the third one, which is the teddy bear one, which I'm excited for, except for the fact that I don't own brown yarn. So it's going to be a polar bear instead of a teddy bear i finished the teddy bear one which in my case is a polar bear and spoiler alert it's the same pattern as the frog so if you look at the frog the eyeballs and the ears for the teddy bear and the eyeballs for the frog are the same shape so it's literally the same thing the only difference is like the embroideries on the front but other than that it's the same difficulty level as the frog and I like this one. I think it's cute. And I actually think I like it as the polar bear. Um, super cute. I mean, the backing so far for all of them are the same. But we're about to get into one that's kind of like a different shape. We're going to do the fourth one, which is the wavy photo card holder. 
and that one kind of has like a little shape going on so I'm curious about how I'm gonna do that see how that ends up happening but I will check back in with you because the wavy part just kind of gives like it looks like the only difference is these two parts but I'm gonna actually find a yarn that's multicolored for this one I think it'll look better so I'll look for a multicolored yarn that I need to get rid of uh, I don't really want to do rainbow I mean I could do this one this one would be kind of cool as like a wavy I mean try it out I am doing this to get rid of my yarn stash so we're gonna try this yarn out for it I got this really cute candle holder from an antique shop a few days ago and it's so cute I love it I also got these buttons Perfect for Valentine's Day coming up. Oh, Jasper. He's so cute. These colors ended up being perfect. This is the backing, the same as the other three backings, but it's literally the perfect like color change. Okay, so I got the wavy front of the wavy card done. Mm, it's okay. Honestly, I had to do a little math because my dimensions are a little different because I'm using different size yarn, but the wording of the pattern for the wavy one is a little tricky and I wouldn't necessarily recommend it as like a first beginner project. Um, once you figure it out, it's okay, but like just the wording was kind of weird. I don't know if the grammar's off like because maybe English wasn't their first language, but it just like the wording doesn't make sense and like when they say decrease and they use DEC there's another line where they're talking about I'm assuming decreasing where they say DC double crochet but there's no double crochets in this so I was like mm, okay so the abbreviations didn't really match in that little section so for that I give the wavy one like 7 out of 10 because it was a little too tricky it shouldn't have been that tricky to kind of decipher the wording but I did finish the front it is kind of wavy it's okay it's not my favorite out of the pack but I do love how these colors turned out so cute so I'm gonna attach them together and show you with the photo inside of it mm, it's done it's not my favorite but mm, I don't know I don't really like the wavy. It's alright. I probably won't make this one again to sell, but I did like the process. At least now I know. These ones are still my favorites so far. Can you guess which photo card we're making next based off the colors? It's the cow one! And I'm so excited. Actually, I'm not that excited. I just realized it's tapestry crochet. And I hate tapestry crochet, but I love you guys, so I'm still going to do it, but I hate tapestry crochet. Don't mind my water bottles, I'm collecting. Okay, I did the backing. It's gorgeous, but this is why I hate tapestry crocheting. I now have to weave all these ends in. And you're probably thinking, Paige, why didn't you just hold it down and crochet over it? The problem is, when you're doing black and white, I don't like that you can see the black um, if you hold it under the white stitches. So I basically just cut it and reattached every single time. So I have all these ends to weave in. But it does look really cute as a cow backing. Um, I liked it. Super cute. And the pattern includes a grid, like a tapestry grid to follow. I kind of just did whatever I wanted that would be less attaching and reattaching. But the grid is still cute too if you want to use it. So I'm going to weave all these ends in and then do the front panel. So I finished the front. It turned out cute. But this is why I hate tapestry. I have all these ends to weave in now. So that's what I'll be doing. And then I'm going to attach it to the backing. And then we have to add the final detail, which is the horns. Okay, it is all put together. Looks so cute. And I found some of this like tan color. I'm going to use it for the um, 
the ears or like the horns I guess I don't really know what they're supposed to be but they just kind of attach on top so I'm gonna do that it's done it looks so cute I actually really like this one um it's a little higher in difficulty than the other ones just because of the switching in the tapestry crochet but the little ears were really easy to make and um they go right on so there's no like attaching um so it's really cool but Overall, I think a beginner could do this. Um, if you have experience with tapestry crochet, it'll be easier, but still beginner friendly. I like this one. It's really cute. Probably won't do it again just because I hate weaving ends in, but it is really adorable. So we're going to move on to the next one, which is the, the made to fly photo card holder. And that's the one, the black one with the white wings. And it's actually really cute. So I'm kind of excited for this one. It looks like the photo card frame part is still like the basic one and you're just adding the wings to the front panel so i'm excited for this one okay the wing part was really simple um super beginner friendly honestly the base is just the same as the first basic one we did and the wings just the add-on the only thing i hate is how many ends i'm gonna have to weave in but um other than that i actually really like this one it was really nice and like easy to do okay i love this one i think this one might be my favorite i love it so much definitely beginner friendly just as easy as the basic one so easy so definitely recommend if you've never done anything before super easy oh, i love it oh my god i love it so much and you could do the wings either way um i just did the one that they did it the the larger wings on the top small ones on the bottom okay the next one is the double pocket holder um, I'm not going to do this one just because I won't sell it. Like, I don't really have a reason to do this one. I'm just looking for single photo frames, so I'm going to skip this one. Okay, so it looks like the next one is the scrap yarn photo holder. And this one is literally the same pattern. It's the same pattern as the basic one, just changing colors a bunch. So... I actually don't think this should have been its own um, one of the 12 because it's the, the same thing as the basic one. It's just you're just using different colors and all that's included is color changing tips. Like that's it. So minus a point for that because there should have only been 11 if this is this shouldn't count. So I'm not doing this one. I don't have scrap yarn to do this. It's the same thing we've been doing just with scrap yarn. Okay, so this one's a flower embroidery one. It's a basic one with different flowers embroidered on it. I think it's cute. We're going to do this one. So I went through my stash and I kind of pulled out these two colors. I know I'm like obsessed with pink right now. Just bear with me. But I think I'm going to do the base color, this light pink. And then the flower embroidery is the darker pink. And again, it looks like the base is the same as the first basic pattern. I don't really know how I feel about it being advertised as like 12 different photo cards because it's not real. I mean, like the base pattern is the same for a majority of them, but there could have just been like an added like, oh, if you want to put flowers on it, here's how. If you want to do this, here's how. But it's kind of like marketed as 12 structurally different photo card frames if that makes sense like that 12 structurally different photo card frames makes it worth 12 bucks but like when three out of the 12 so far are just like repeats but with an added embroidery or like repeats but you're just going to change to be mismatched colors i don't know the tapestry ones i understand because those ones involve like tapestry grids but I don't know how I feel. I don't know. Finished. Um, I don't really know how I feel about it. Honestly, I feel like you can't even really tell my embroideries are flowers. But I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Does this look like flowers or does it just look like bundles of yarn? Like it doesn't look like anything. I don't know. I don't think I like it. I've been putting off this video for way too long, so it's time to finish it. We're going to finish all of the photo cards in this pattern tonight, right now, before I go to bed. So, I applied for a booth at a venue for a market, and I actually got it. So, we need to start crocheting 
for my very first market, you know, craft market. So we need to finish this video. We need to wrap it up. We need to wrap it up so I can crochet other things. So let's finish this video. So the next one we're making is the cloud photo card and I don't have the perfect sky blue. So I'm just going to use the closest thing I have, which is this like comically toy story blue. Um, so I'm going to be using this blue. It's going to be a little weird, but like it's all I have. So we're going to use it. This is the part that I dread. But look how cute this looks. It's literally clouds. I love it. I just have to weave all this in. We completed the cloud one. I love the back more than I like the front, but I'll accept it. I think it's cute. I actually really ended up liking this one. So 10 out of 10. The next one was going to be the chain photo card, but frankly, it's ugly. So I don't really want to make it. Like, I don't really see a reason to make it. It just looks ugly so we're gonna move on to the next one which is the checkered photo card holder and it's actually our last one so we just have to do the checkered checkered one which i think is really cute so i'm gonna go look for some colors that i haven't used yet to do the checkered one i've decided on white and red for our colors because i think it's cute it kind of gives like queen of hearts valentine's day vibes okay i had to do a little math because i did less stitches with mine than they did because I'm using thicker yarn so I kind of had to like block out the way I'm gonna do the checkered but I finished the backing it's gorgeous except for the other side not so gorgeous but I don't have as many to weave in because I like kind of carried things over but not really I didn't want them to show through the front so I mostly just like carried it like this um, but the backing is done so now I'm gonna do the front I did the math, but I'm hoping it like works out the same way theirs did. So far, I mean, I'm doing it right, so. Um, but now I'm just going to try to do the front. Oh my god. The front looks uh, pretty. Oh, this is so mad. This is the longest it's taken me out of all these photo cards. All done. It looks good, but not worth the amount of effort I put in and time. It took so long, but it turned out okay. I don't know. I kind of like it. I'll probably never do it again. It's not as like clean as I want it to be. Too much weaving in for me. I have finished and completed all of the ones I'm going to do for the video. So let's do a little recap of everything since I finished all of them. I kind of want to do like a little recap now that I can compare them to one another and then we'll wrap this video up and we'll be done. So out of all the ones we did, we ended up doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out of the 12. Um, Again, I already gave you my explanation for the ones I skipped. They were either ugly or they were already the same pattern, just with different colors. I was like, okay, well, dumb. So, out of all of these, I think the hardest one would be the checkered one. That one, so many color changes. It's so pretty, but the color changes were just so annoying. Not necessarily difficult, more just like painful painful to complete and I will not be doing this one again. There were two other tapestry run tapestry ones we did and that was the cow and the cloud one. Personally, I kind of love the cow one. It's super cute. I hate tapestry and I love the cow. It turned out so cute. I think it's like rewarding enough to deal with the tapestry. Um, even the clouds ones. I kind of love the cloud ones. These two made me like tapestry. So I would make these again, actually. I think I would. Now, my favorite is the wing one. I did not think this was going to be my favorite, but it is my favorite. It is so cute. I love it. I love the way that an image looks in this. It's my favorite. I don't know if it's going to be the best seller, but it is my favorite. So that one's... Oh, and it's super easy to make. Literally, this is like the same basic pattern as the basic one with wings attached to the front panel. It's so easy. So... Definitely beginner friendly. Um, the other one, this one, mid, mid. Not gonna lie, these kind of look like booty holes. So I probably won't be making that one again. Plus I don't really like embroidering. Um, the teddy bear one that we ended up doing a polar bear because I didn't have the right color. Um, I kind of love it. It was easy, it was simple. It was basic except for the little ears, easy. With that being said, the exact same pattern for the frog one just changing the colors for the eyes i love it super cute super basic i'm definitely going to be doing these ones over again 
I mean, like, when I say that, I just mean, like, I'll make more if they sell on my Etsy. I'll probably restock them because I like them. The other ones I'm not restocking, but those ones I will. And then we have the basic tried and true. Simple. I will definitely be restocking this one. Now, this one is the wavy one. This one, out of all the ones I made, I didn't really need to make this one. I don't really love it. The wavy is too subtle for me, and it's kind of just, like, ugly gross. And the wavy makes the edges not line up nicely like they do on the top and the bottom. Like, it's just giving gross. It doesn't look good. So, yeah, those are my final thoughts. I don't know if I said all that throughout the video, but if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. But other than that, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like this content and you want to see more. My application just got accepted for a maker's market which is basically like a craft fair so i will have a booth which means you're gonna get a lot of crochet with me's coming up preparing for that it's my first one ever so we're both going to be learning together what kind of sells what doesn't um and that's gonna be really fun this coming month so get excited for that because i'm excited for that and subscribe so you don't miss it go follow me over on instagram so you can enter into the monthly giveaways and other than that comment down below what you made while you watched this video, okay? I'll see you in the next one. Bye!